President Biden opting out of re-election is a significant moment in American history in and of itself. We continue to historically contextualize it with the help of academic experts. As our Simon Williams tells us, three history professors from our state's public universities weigh in. Joe Biden isn't the first president to conclude a campaign for re-election while in office. At least two other times has a POTUS withdrawn from the race for re-election in their first term. Harry Truman in 1952 and Lyndon Johnson in 1968. And while there are comparisons to Biden in the facts of the transaction, to say history is repeating itself is inaccurate, says University of Alabama history professor Stephen Bunker. Their problem was wars. That's not the case with Biden. While some people can mention Afghanistan, that really wasn't what was holding him back. The number one target was his age. Any other issues were constantly circling back to saying he's too old. So if Biden's age and the opinion of his ability related to that number becomes the prevailing reason why he opts not to run again, how does that match up with Truman and Johnson? This is what was being pushed as the problem is age, both politically, but I think there is a concern among citizens in general that our political class at this moment perhaps needs to pass the torch. Now, what about the history that Biden's decision lays the ground for? That, of course, being Kamala Harris's likely ascension to the Democratic Party's nominee for president. Alabama A&M's history department chair, Stacey Carter, sees this as two-pronged. The timing. You know, we are weeks before the Democratic nomination. So how would that play out at a party convention? The obvious is this is a woman. And not just a woman, but she's an African-American. We'll see history happen before our eyes, and history happen before our eyes very quickly. North Alabama History Department Chair Ansley Kiros sees an inevitability to making history in this moment. Sometimes history is just the rest upon you, and you just got to kind of meet the moment. It's exciting that we're right in the middle of the story. We're not just repeating or echoing things that have happened before. We're not stuck in some doom loop. We are actively participating in something that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> and we can look for continuity. We can look for change. But ultimately, we get to make the moment that we're in. In Huntsville, Simon Williams, Fox 54 News.